Hey there techies, welcome to another video and today we're going to be taking a look at Komodo Rescue Disc. Yes, we are continuing the Rescue Disc extravaganza. However, I think I have finally found a reliable source to get malware for the testing of the regular prevention products. So I just got to get the interface all set up in order to download that, but I do think I finally found some sources. Anyways. So getting back to the review, we're going to take a look at Komodo Rescue Disk version 2.0 today. I have my virtual machine all set up, and I did change it up. No, that's not what I want to do. Oh, I'm already screwing up. All right, so what we're going to do is change this here, turn that off. Let's do this a little bit smarter here. So we're going to power on to firmware, which is essentially the BIOS here. And then we're going to go to boot, and we're going to change our boot order so that, essentially, when we want to load the disk, we don't just sit there and hit escape all the time. Anyways, so we're going to go into graphical mode. There was a choice between graphic, text, not too much. And you're going to notice here that uh, Komodo doesn't really offer much in the way of a, a fluffy interface, if you want to call it that. I don't really know. Or a pretty interface. I don't know. Anyways, so they just, it's kind of bland. But you know what? As long as it functions good, that's really all that matters, isn't it, guys? Especially when you're handling a rescue disk. You know, at this point, when, you, when you're grabbing a rescue disk, your computer's already just taking a huge dump on you. And you just need something to, to get it back online so that you can use your regular NZ malware products to get yourself back clean again. Anyways, so here's the license agreement right here. As you can see, once again, it's a Linux environment. And here is the interface. Pretty, pretty standard, pretty straightforward. It's automatically initializing the Komodo Cleaning Essentials. And that's another thing I should mention too, is this rescue disk is based around the Komodo Cleaning Essentials. So for those of you who enjoyed using those in the past, inside Windows environment, because that's what that's designed for, um, this is basically gonna be the same thing, just in its own bootable environment where it mounts the hard drives. So let's take a look at the interface here quick. As you can see, it's quite basic. You got your smart scan, full scan, and then custom scan right over here. Options are located right up here. Not nearly as much as Kaspersky offers, as, as you can see right here. You can scan for uh, suspicious MBR modifications. Uh, on highly infected systems, I would suggest checking this, uh, but do be aware, as the message indicates, you can get false positives with this. So if you don't necessarily know what you're doing, you might want to just go ahead and leave it unchecked at the first um, scan. It, and do multiple scans. So scan first with it unchecked, see if your problem is solved. If not, um, go ahead and check it uh, to see if that will solve your problem. Then, because at that point, if your problem is not solved, eh, what do you got to lose? You know, you're gonna do break it more, right? So, but in the case for the test, I am going to change that setting and scan for the uh, MBR master boot record modifications. Heuristics level, we're gonna leave that at default. Uh, that's nice to see it has heuristics capabilities in here, some behavioral detections. And then it also scans in archive files. And I don't know why it's lagging right there. I wasn't doing that earlier. Anyways, let's click OK. Tools, right up here. You can check for updates, quarantine items, things like that. Help gets you the version number that we're testing currently. And uh, then once again, scan options. So I guess you know, let's not make you guys wait anymore. And uh, we'll go ahead and start a full scan right away. So we're going to click on that. As you can see, it is currently updating still. All right, so as you can see, it started scanning now, um, and it's already found three objects. Now you'll notice here that the scanner does go fairly fast. Um, I think when I scanned this computer once, just because I was, you know, kind of curious to see what I would do, uh, it scanned it pretty quick, but uh, in, in the sense of less than an hour. So we'll see how well it can actually do. Now, if you remember correctly, Kaspersky took quite a long time to scan the system, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad because it might just mean it's thorough. Um, so this may not do as well. We will see. Um, that doesn't always mean anything, but like I said we'll see. Uh, while that's scanning here, we'll just quick touch on a few other things here. You can see over here, uh, you got the My Documents folder. Essentially, this is going to allow you access to your hard drive and possibly extract any files uh, that may be recoverable and um, get those off of your system. Uh, you also do have, uh, let's see, some preferences, preferences right here. Not much in the way there. Uh, you do have Midori, I think it's called, browser. So you kind of have a web browser where you can log in, look things up. Uh, network configuration, 
Once again, I would recommend doing this over a wired connection. It'll just relieve a lot of headaches and a sense of trying to use a wireless network. Uh, this does support wireless, as you can see, but might as well just use wired. It seems to work a lot better. Uh, and that's pretty much it here. You got log off here where we can shut it down. We don't want to do that. So we're just going to go ahead and let it scan. Now, I do want to point something out here, and I don't know if you've noticed it yet, but you notice right here there's a lot of network activity. So now Komodo doesn't state that it's supposed to use the cloud engine and all, but something tells me it is. Uh, just because of all the network activity that is going on, I feel that it is referencing its cloud engine, which is a good thing. Um, but I kind of wish they'd mentioned that. Maybe someone from Komodo can clear, clear that up um, and, and kind of let me know why there's so much network activity uh, associated with this bootable anti-malware disk, um, if I'm right on that assumption or not. But uh, that at least is my theory as to why there's so much network activity uh, going on. And like I said, that would be a good thing. So uh, we're going to go ahead and let this scan. As you can see, it's found quite a bit so far. And when it's done scanning, we're going to go ahead, come back, kind of see what it found, and see the removal process, boot up into regular Windows, and from there, find out how clean this system actually is. So, see you when it's done, guys. Alright, so the scan has completed here, and it says it completed in 59 minutes and 38 seconds. Wow, and I said about an hour, right? I'm <laughs> pretty good at this. So, uh, 383 threats, yep. And let's go ahead and see what it found. So let's click next here. Now, it doesn't really define really well as of what it found. It's kind of all jobbled up in the sense of it has your threat name right here, as you can see. Um, but then it shows you the path uh, of which the threat was detected. Uh, and it's a, it's a standard file tree. That's all it is. But um, as you can see, it looks like there's a lot of that detection right there and we got a lot of stuff down here so quite a bit of quite a bit of malware detected but it looks like it really detected mainly this threat right here uh, which was rampant throughout the system um, yeah there it is still okay just going through again guys to kind of take a look yet we got a lot of malware down there a lot of different pieces of malware okay so I'm not too confident that it did that well just judging by these results but regardless, we're going to go ahead and make sure everything is set to clean. Okay. And now we're going to go ahead and click apply. And now it's going to go through and it's going to quarantine essentially all of those objects. Or it should. Okay. Uh, so results. Okay. 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 All right. So everything looks like it has been removed from the system. So now you can just go ahead and click exit. And it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to close? Uh, you can click yes. And it should close. All right. So now we're just going to go up here to click on the C, and we should be able to click log out. And we're going to reboot the system here. And then I'm going to go ahead also and remove the disk from the drive. And then we'll do another reset here. And we're going to boot back up. So let me go ahead and get my VPN online here though. All right, everyone, so the scan has finished with Hitman Pro after the system has rebooted. And it doesn't look that good for the test. So it identified 93 threats, apparently. Um, and as you can see, uh, they're, they're somewhat serious threats. So, and there's quite a bit of them as well. A lot of malware has been left on this system. So, bottom line for Komodo's rescue disk 2.0. I really think it needs a lot of help, uh, especially with Komodo always kind of trying to be the advanced security solution. Uh, this really is anything but. Uh, it just seems like it was kind of thrown together as a here you go have fun guys you know and more of not really necessarily thinking about actually putting it into the field and using it. it's more of just a testing tool I don't know uh, but like I said <clears throat> it just doesn't feel uh, like it did that well as you can see it left a lot of adware uh, a lot of malware just a lot of junk was left on the system especially in comparison to the way Kaspersky did so 
Uh, so comparing it to that, Kaspersky did wonderful uh, compared to this right here. So um, bottom line for this test, really a, really a disappointment for Komodo. I think they could have done a lot better. Yes, they detected 300 and I think it was 83 objects on the system. But as you saw earlier when I stated, I didn't think it was going to do that well, judging by the fact there was just not that many different types of malware that it, det that it detected on the system. Now it looks like, yeah, okay, there we got some different ones right there. So, yeah, really think that it could have uh, really improved on that. So, would I recommend Komodo's Rescue Disk? Wouldn't be my first choice, I'd have to say. Definitely not my first choice. I would definitely reach for the Kaspersky Rescue Disk first and uh, go with that. And, and dare I say, even in the past, their cleaning essentials, I feel, has performed much better uh, than, than their Rescue Disk, regardless of the fact that it's supposed to use kind of the same engine and stuff like that. It just did not perform that well. So, hope you enjoyed this review, guys. Uh, there will be some more Rescue Disc reviews coming out soon. So, keep an eye on the channel. They'll be there. Till then, see you in the next video.